All right, so today we want to talk a little bit about block sanding, why we do it, why it's important, and it's a huge, huge step in the painting process. So when we do trucks here at Lugnuts Garage, we like these things to be like street rod, laser straight. And to accomplish that, we effectually have to do a lot of this. block sand. It comes in various shapes and forms. For the curvy stuff we actually use a little bit of a flexible block. The process is pretty straightforward. There's a couple different ways you can do a guide coat. You can do a rattle can or you can do the powder which I like to use. The powder is pretty efficient, doesn't leave little spots. So essentially all you're doing here is you're putting on something to sand off and when they say guide coat Bottom line is, while you're sanding, you get to a nice light gray finish, obviously. And if there's any black dots, this is your low spot. Now, this is not a step that a lot of guys do. Uh, if you look at a street rod at a car show, and they're looking at that 68 Charger that's like triple black and laser straight, this is how they get that thing to look like that. Your everyday car isn't gonna get this kind of treatment. But when we build trucks here, we like these things to have an extremely high quality paint job. We put stupid amounts of time into this. This is actually our third round of high build primer, which essentially is like a spray on body filler, if you will. A lot of times we end up with two, but this one had a few uh, imperfections yet. So we're going to a round three. Again, pretty straightforward. You wanna sand this in an X pattern. So while you're sanding, you're actually crossing out the next sand marks because well, what you don't want to end up with is directional sand marks in your base coat. So after we get this sanded down, we're going to go to a 400, we're at a 220 right now, and we go to a 400, then we'll put our sealer on and we'll go right to paint after that. But extremely important step in the process of getting a nice straight truck. So as you can see, this is blocking out really nice. This is what you want to have right here. This nice gray area, no black dots. And essentially, like you see this one here, we'll just keep working that. We've got plenty of high build on here to where this should just go away. This actually should be our last round of high build and block. But you can see that that spot right there is actually a low spot and that should sand out. It's very, very faint. But if you get nice deep black circles, you're gonna probably need to put a little glaze in there to fill that up. All right, so if you see right here, this is nice, solid, light gray, no more black. This is exactly what you want to have. For smaller areas, we like to use a paint stick. On the third gens, this can be an area that's difficult to use, obviously, a, a large block in. So we go to a paint stick when we're blocking out these tough areas and these roundy areas, if you will. And the paint stick works pretty good. We actually do this with uh, wet sanding difficult areas, too. The trick is to keep moving. Don't spend too much time in one spot. Keep even pressure while you're sanding and you'll end up with a nice straight finish. 
third gen Dodges are really roundy, rounded and bubbly, if you will. They're not perfectly straight. And something to always keep in mind is when you're blocking out like a spot like this, it has a natural arc like this in the middle of the wheel well. So if you use a big hard block and you're not contouring to that shape, the chances are you're gonna sand through this first before you get these areas blocked at all. A couple of tricks you can do, especially with uh, a bigger block, you can actually put the paper right on the, right on the vehicle. And if you roll your block into it, like so, you actually get a little curve in the block. So you get a little bit of a arc, if you will. So this helps you alleviate from sanding through in a middle spot. Another trick you can use is actually a flexible block that's got a little bit of give to it. This will basically conform to the shape and you're not going to risk sanding through. So always be aware of your shapes, your high spots, your low spots, because you can easily sand through your high build primer and completely alleviate everything you just did. So, so this is how we get trucks so straight at Lugnuts Garage. It's a ridiculous extra step that takes a lot of time. We've got a couple of days just into this box. But once it's done, it's going to be laser straight. Probably going to go with a, a deep blue metallic. We're actually looking at the 2018 Indigo Blue that Mopar added uh, last year. But after the Lone Star, we definitely need another color than red. So keep watching for some more tips and tricks.